Welcome to our latest scorching hot, hot boy summer horizon donut media collab. Upgrade heroes. We'll be upgrading cars right here in Mexico. And testing them out at our very own brand new test track. Also, go check out the series we're filming in Tulum. It's gonna be sick. No way! You brought Hilo to Mexico. Technically, I brought High Car because I thought someone else could break it for a change. And I brought Low Car because it's the only one in our parking lot that's running right now. Then I brought Zach Job because he's my super cool and handy road trip buddy. Also, I'm the professional and better driver than James. I came to check out the Horizon car scene. I've been trying to get to the Horizon Festival forever. I came because I was hungry. Wait, if we're all here, who's watching the shop? My dog's got it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Wait a sec. You get high and low Z's, and I get stopped. Dude, you have the most important job at Donut right now. I do? We're always debating between high and low car, right? What's better, cheap and charming or top of the line? What if there was a third option? Some kind of middle car? The coming of Midgar has been spoken of in legend. Ah, I think I see where you're going with this. But right now, Team High are headed north and Team Low are headed south. So, you gotta pick one. Pick Team Low! High team, for real. Either way, we've got tons of cool stuff planned. We gotta shoot some videos, check out some cars, have some very special good times. What happened to cars are pain? Cars are pain with the heart, dude. The heart is the most important part. Way to handle the fair lady. You're gonna fit right in on low team. High team. Low team. All right, my friend, the time has come. Choose wisely. Do you want to ride in high car or low car? See this right here? This is a real car connoisseur picking low team. Or maybe you're just cheap. That's cool, though. No judgments. I'll take you for a spin in low car. You'll see there's nothing cheap about it. I mean, I like to get value for my money. Nothing wrong with that. hear some stories about Lozy? Trust me, you want to hear some stories about Lozy. Now let's say you're not a Horizon superstar. You don't make the big bucks, but you still want a fun daily drive you can take to the track. That's low car. Turbo, suspension, brakes, wheels, tires, lights, body kit, paint job, all for just 20 grand. You didn't have to spend twice as much for a running car. Hold on a sec. Man, Mexico is beautiful. You gotta hear about when we sprayed this thing. Nolan, 
did a terrible job, but then he did it again and it was better. So I wasn't in the car on track day when this happened, but Nolan said it made a pop noise. And then, long story short, the best car is the one that runs. I'm not sure if low car can afford a top shelf driver like you. Anyway, that's low Z. Whatever the result, it was an awesome build. Come on, Jeremiah. Which team are you? Are you kidding? Low team all the way. This Z has a special place in all our hearts. It's the hero of the show. This road goes straight to Balarante. Send it, dude. Solid drive. No one probably wishes you were there on track day. Where are Nolan and Justin anyway? Thanks to Donut and Horizon, this is every car at the festival ranked. Um, every car? That's a lot. That's what I told him. Don't get me wrong, these cars are tight, but I got stuff to do this afternoon. How about we just do all the suits? <laughs> nope, we're doing all the cars. Strap in. For this list, I've managed to secure each of our favorite cars at Horizon Mexico. You're welcome. For me, it's got to be the 1997 Nissan Skyline GTR R33. Because it's super underrated and it's amazing overall to drive. Close second would be the Pagani Huayra BC. Sweet. For me, it's the Subaru Brat. Because a car like that should not have existed. I try not to buy one every day. And second for me is the Mitsubishi Stereon, because I love cars that are shaped like wedges and wide body. And for me, I think I'll go with the 2018 Camaro CL1 1LE. America. And a close second is a McLaren F1. All right, Superstar, your favorite. Go. Ah, AMG1, Toyota Supra, Corvette C8, Hurry up, dude. Ranked list to wait for nobody. I... I can't. Okay, sorry. We'll do top three, then. Obviously, it's the GTR at number one. No, obviously, it's my Camaro at number one, right? I know you want to ride in these jump seats. I know. Three-way tie. High car, low car, and any car you work in with your friends. I like that. Very wholesome. All right, that's our ranking. If I ever actually own a GTR, I'm calling you to drive it for me. Back in Losey, let's go. First day, and things are going pretty smoothly for Team Low. Now, Jeremiah's setting up for an episode of Bumper to Bumper. All we gotta do is get Low Car out there to meet him. Uh, why are you saying that like it won't happen? It's only a couple miles. Sure, a couple miles. Low Car can do that. No problem. I can't believe I've never been here. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me about it. Never get sold. We should do a season of high-low here. Baja bugs or trophy trucks or something. That would be sick. I mean, until low team breaks down or breaks an axle or overheats in the Baja. Low car doesn't always break, you know? That's true. Sometimes it's high car. I'll have you know that on track day, we both broke down.
funny noise. Dude, you jinxed it. I jinxed it? You built it. It's fine. I can hold it. Probably. Let's just see if we can make it to Jeremiah at the finish line. That's fine. Ignore that. That's not smoke. It's, it's speed gas. It's only smoke, Jasper. I think it's cooking under there. <sighs> yeah. Just head for the motorway. So we almost made it to the finish. Which, for Hilo, is actually pretty good. Great job, everyone. You know, I have a truck with a rooftop tent that would have been perfect for this. Call Jeremiah, he's coming to meet us. While they try to figure out what's wrong with Lozy, you and I are going sideways with style, blower to body kit, bumper to bumper on our Formula Drift 96 Nissan 240SX. Let's go. You ready to get drifty? Don't let me get in my zone. This thing raced in the 2022 Pro Spec Series, which is like the minor leagues for Formula D. Driver number 51, Adam Kanapik. He's our shop daddy, and he's probably the best driver at Donut. Oh, and we gave it a little old Donut Media paint job right here. We make clothes. You want a shirt? Dude, I'll get you a shirt. I'll get you a dozen shirts, plus socks, no problem. You should try a drift tap skill. So before they got to work on it, this was a Nissan S14 240SX. Iron block LS, supercharged with about 800 foot-pounds of torque. Pretty sweet. your drift zone. Light it up! There you go, bumper to bumper on the Donut Media Formula Drift Nissan 240SX. What do you think? Leave a comment, like, and sub. Oh, wait, never mind. But you should subscribe though. I don't care how we do it, we're making that track down. Just you wait and see. Hey there, buddy. What's going on? Little car trouble? Yeah, James. Well, low car is, uh, it's, it's broken. We'll take the truck. You drive high car. Yo, Nolan, no need to hurry. It's not a race. <laughs> oh, yeah? I bet my driver could beat high Z back to the festival in a flatbed. You can beat him back to the festival in a flatbed, right? Horizon creates a lot more wreckage than Donut.
By the way, early word on Lozy is that we blew a radiator hose. <laughs> ah, damn! Radiator hose! We fixed one of those in a gas station at midnight. Eh, that was in a high car, though. I fixed one of those on the side of the road with a butter knife before. <laughs> Us Americans love keeping butter knives in our glove box. to the finish. You beat High Car in a truck. Can I possibly interest you in a donut media intern position? Have a date with the track. Welcome to High Team. We have a lot of money and seafood towers. Okay, we don't have seafood towers right now, but we do have Zach. It's you and me for this one. James is meeting us on the other side. Road trip! Woo! Road trip! Let's see what you can do in High Z on the way to Guanajuato. James says he's setting up, but he's probably just window shopping. I heard that. <laughs> so you probably know this already, but High Z has some gosh dang history. We did everything to this thing. Wheels, tires, brakes, coilovers, turbo, body kit, $100,000 worth. I mean, I did most of the real mechanic stuff, and James said, Mo Power a bunch. Mo oh, oh, Power. The power delivery is so smooth with these turbos. Everything about the car is pretty sweet. The seats could be more comfy. And the best part, on track day, just when we were getting clean laps, uh, we broke it. Black flag, womp womp. Nice, right? I think high car rides better with you behind the wheel. Honestly, I didn't care who won. I love low car too. Don't tell Nolan I said that. <laughs> I would. Guanajuato now. Just another day in the life of High Z. Thanks for the ride.
Now, where's Pumphrey at? Whoa, cool! Whose Miata is this? Some Horizon driver starting their own money pit? Man, I love that car. Hey, time's wasting. I'm not paying you to sit around talking about cars. You don't pay me at all! Okay, James. Why are we in the van? Because Dota Media is a business, all right? We do car culture, positive vibes, and t-shirts with buff horses on them. Our interns have set up donut merch stands all over Mexico, and we're gonna make some deliveries. Make sure to park at the stand. We need time to drop everything off. Go, go, go! Like a horse out of heck! Can we do it fast? Yes. Yes, we can. Apex, baby! Yeah, that would make a good shirt. Maybe a hat. Lightning, lightning, lightning! Final parking spot, go! Stand way out here. It must be Nolan's fault. Whew. Now all the donut fans at Horizon can get their sweet threads and recognize each other and hug and stuff. We did a good thing today. All right, Hi-Z should have cooled down by now. That was a pretty great day. How about we finish it off with a night drive? Zach, you take the Miata. All right, nice driving, by the way. Thanks for getting all that set up. That means you and I are in high Z, buddy. We're driving through the spooky woods at the base of the Grand Volcano. Uh, why? Who cares? This me out of rules. Zach, it's uh, getting pretty dark out, isn't it? Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> I think uh, maybe for safety, you know, you might want to turn on your... Oh, no. Here it comes. <laughs> bum, 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 down headlights!
How was your brain being turned to mush by that song? No, seriously, Zach, I think we got a problem. Looks like the RPMs are dropping. Hmm, not good. Could be the mass airflow sensor, or maybe you've got an ignition issue. Or a fuel pumps on the fritz. So, Hi-Z is broken down. It might be a mass airflow sensor, but I'll have to wait until first light to see. Which means our big broken baby is spending the night in the woods. <laughs> Welcome to high-low, baby. Should have brought the Tacoma. There aren't Mexican bears in these woods, are there? Hey, James. So, high car broke down, huh? No. <laughs> You're right. We're just uh, testing the capabilities as an RV. Yeah, high car definitely broke down. Zach has an engine tear down under control, but it might take a while. What are we going to do? How about we take some cars and some cameras and get up to speed on the Nissan Z? So this is everything you need to know to get up to speed on the Nissan Z while we drive them. No way, no way, no way! In October of 1969, the 240Z arrived in America, known in Japan as the Fair Lady Z. The American version had a 2.4 liter inline six, giving it a robust 151 hearse perks. It could go from zero to 60 in just under eight seconds and cost around 3,600 bucks. I would love to find a 240Z for 3,600 bucks. Jumping to more current times, in 2001, an announcement was made. The return of the Z to America. Nissan debuted a bright orange Z concept car, the Nissan 350Z. It was released to wide acclaim the very next year. While the 350Z was good, Nissan knew they could do better. Debuting in 2008, the Nissan 370Z was almost a complete redesign from the 350. The engine swapped out to the huge 3.7 liter V6. It was also still affordable and looked amazing. Lucky for us and all the Z Series fans, Nissan didn't stop there. In 2023, the new Nissan Z arrived, the newest in their line of modern sports cars, this time with 400 purse purrs. The new Z uses the same platform as the 370Z, but now it's got a three liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. Now I kind of wish I'd gotten the Roadster. Z432, baby. Can't beat a classic. My Z is the mightiest Z. This is great, but I still miss high car. Congratulations. You are now officially up to speed on the Nissan Z. Uh, hey, Zach, is the car fixed yet? This is an interesting new upgrade for high car. Yeah, we installed a full flatbed truck kit under it. It came out pretty well. Well, our car still works, so let's drive that. Right, then floor it. Nolan, high car on a flatbed can still beat low car any day of the week. 
Are you serious? Dude, come on. Uh, hey, so, um, I said a stupid thing to my buddy Nolan, and now you need to make me look less stupid. Um, can you do that? It's okay, this is high team. We can pay for the damage. I've got it. It was the crank angle sensor. That's a pretty easy replacement once we get back to the festival. for life, baby! You helped a lot, too. Thanks, pal. You know what day it is? It's track day! Before we get started on our high-low test track finale, one more thing we gotta do to welcome the newest member of the Donut family. Look, me. If you break a car with us, you're officially family. We've got a big family. We told you at the start, sometimes it's hard to decide between high car and low car. So... <gasps> the legends were true. The glory of Midcar awaits. I'm nervous now. Don't be. This is the best part. We picked up another identical stock Nissan Z, and it's yours to customize. Choose your upgrades, and we'll get them installed. I will definitely be helping you guys. <laughs> Let's start with new wheels and tires. Now for new brakes, diff, springs, and a big, fat turbo. You probably want to look at a roll cage and some aero, too. That Rocket Bunny wide body is pretty tempting. Now finish it off with a paint job. Or, if you're really brave, let Nolan do it. Man, I'll never live that down. Be careful. You can spin more than low car, but less than high car. Mid car. You got it? All done? Looks pretty dope. We could probably cram a few more upgrades in there. Start with some test laps. Get a good feel for it. All right, believe it or not, high and low Z are both running. So we are good to go.
this is it. We did it. We are here. The final showdown of this very special, very exciting Horizon slash donut edition of High Low. We bought three nearly identical Nissan 350Zs. One got cheap parts, one got expensive parts, and for the first time ever, one got a mix of the two. I'll be in low car. I'll be in high car. And I'll be in mid car with our special guest driver. Um, hi. Time to find out once and for all, does more expensive mean more better? Or is more in between -er, more gooder and smarter? -er? Okay, that wasn't great, but it's the format, so we can work on it. Let's go! Show them what Midcar can do! High Z all day, baby! Woo! Whether it wins or not, low Z rules. You guys, it's been great working with you, but I'm running away to join Horizon. Be safe, have fun, I love you, but you're still gonna lose. More friends definitely means more better. Cause a pain. The heart is the most important part. A detour! Take it off road! Come up on the finish line, let it eat! did it! I can't believe you did it, dude! I am so proud of you! This changes everything. You're gonna have to move to LA. We need to get you some t-shirts and like a hat. Do you know how to read a teleprompter? <laughs> I've got a better idea. How about you all join us here for a while? Oh, can we, James? Can we, can we, please, please, please? <laughs> Can't say no to that face. All right, maybe for a little while. Hey, James, you know the Baja 1000 is coming up, right? We do have those trucks. You thinking what I'm thinking? Nolan, you read my mind. Thank you.